Hi Sagis, how are you guys doing? Welcome to Sagittarius Tarot and another daily oracle reading. Today is the 26th of November, 2023. That's 26, 11, 2023. Now, let us reduce these numbers and add them together, right? To reduce them to a double um, digit number. So that's 2 plus 6 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2 plus 0 plus 2 plus 3 it equals 17 and 17 is um, a number that embodies the energy of making a positive difference in the world it is really um, a beautiful number because it combines number one and seven so creation and spirituality um, and so that's really all about making a positive difference in the world and that's a great energy um, that today holds so um, this could be done in different ways right um, whether this is helping out someone whether this is inspiring people whether this is influencing um, people whether this is just being a better person overall um, or um, Sometimes by just being you, um, sometimes by entertaining, other times by helping. However it is, as much as it just adds, right, um, to the world, um, positivity. And so this day holds a lot of that, which can mean that however you as a person um, contribute in your own unique way to the world, Today is going to be even more conducive towards that um, purpose or that um, trait or aspect. Okay, so that's really beautiful. One second, this keeps on moving. Okay. All right. Now, let me pick for you um, your daily oracle card from the numerology guidance. Let's see what do you get. Lovely, okay. So communication, all right. And so this card holds the number 33, okay. And 33 is, um, is the number three, but you know, um, the higher state of a number three. And so that's why like it holds the essence of communication because 33 really is the energy of enlightenment. And enlightenment means you've got to be aware, informed, educated, it's the combination of all these energies that is really beautiful and a perfect like card to to have that goes on like that complements today's energy which was like making a positive difference in the world so today will be a combination of these two energies of the day and the card it will be like you know it is thanks to your enlightenment your awareness, your information, um, your education, all your culture, all of these things. So thanks to that, thanks to your enlightenment, you will be able to make a positive difference in the world. Very nice. Now let's calculate, like let's add the numbers of the day, which was 17, and the numbers of the card, 33. 17 plus 33 um, will give us 50. And 50 is um, number five, but with a zero, right? So it is, it embodies number five, which is like personal freedom. And with that, with that zero, like it sort of just gives it that um, extra energy, let's say, let's extra need. So it really embodies the expression of personal freedom. And so that's how... Um, what this reading is all about, right? It is expressing your personal freedom. 
thanks to your enlightenment, which will make a positive difference in the world. Now, 550, like I said, is basically 5 plus 0 is 5. And so 5 would be the energy, the um, number for the energy number for this reading. And 5 is all about adventure. Right? Um, and so, because, you know, it embodies like um, passions, hobbies, casual sex, uh, going out, like all these things, fun times. And so that's why it embodies the energy of adventure. Um, which is telling me that going on an adventure, this could not, this could be like, because the theme is communication, this is like, I'm talking here about like a mental adventure or a communicative adventure, okay? That involves expressing your personal freedom. Um, so that could be done through painting, writing, singing, dancing, um, taking pictures, making videos, um, you know, readings like this, whatever it is that you are creating to express yourself and your personal freedom, um, right, is going to feel like an adventure and it's really going to take you and take whoever is receiving that art, right, um, and appreciating it, it'll take you both on a, an adventure um, of enlightenment, full of information and awareness and education and culture and all of that is how you're making a positive difference in the world today. That was really beautiful and so that was the numerology aspect of today's reading. Nice. Now before we um, dive into um, the more into the cards meaning, let me read for you um, one of the affirmations. And so repeat with me three times to invoke the energy. I communicate my thoughts and feelings and have the courage to speak my truth. I communicate my thoughts and feelings and have the courage to speak my truth. I communicate my thoughts and feelings and have the courage to speak my truth. Very nice. Okay. So, this is talking about communication, obviously. And it is asking you to communicate both thoughts and feelings. So, the mind and the heart. Whatever you're thinking of and whatever you're feeling. Both of these are important components to communicate. Because they both set like a complete picture, like a complete context, right? It will be involving the thoughts and the feelings behind whatever you want to communicate. And this affirmation is telling you also to affirm you having the courage to speak your truth. And so this is like personal freedom, expression of personal freedom. Okay? And so... Really, today is all about you speaking your truth, speaking your mind, speaking your feelings, speaking who you are, what you are, what do you believe in, what, what are you all about, what are you passionate about, okay? Um, and that is really nice. Now, if we look at the card, it has this like yellow, like um, over powering color right and yellow is usually like energy it is the color like usually of fun of being dynamic um and you know extrovert sort of and it's just it's because it's reminiscent of sunshine right so it's play and it's um fun and so really exuberance energy i like it a lot because this is really like talking about also like effervescent and um, communication and communication that's bubbly and, and happy and, 
you know, it spread joy, right? So this is not, this is how I feel about today. It's going to be like this type of, you know, communication that will bring you um, joy as well. So this is like talking about things that you're passionate about and you resonate about. This is not as much um, about talking, you know, about maybe um, like dark subjects or things that really bring up like a lot of um, intense feelings that come with them. No, I'm, I'm feeling today that it is all about something that really you drive a lot of love and passion and fun from. And so maybe you didn't have the courage to speak before your truth. Um, maybe you thought it was ridiculous. Maybe you thought no one's interested in it. Maybe you were doubting yourself. Maybe you thought it's irrelevant. Regardless whatever those causes were, today you're going to, like, the energy is pushing you to get out of your comfort the zone when it comes to that and just speak it out. I love it a lot. And so if we look at here, there's like all these triangles um, in this card that are like inscribed within each other. And this is illustrating the this power of three, right? And this three, three. Because if you notice, like we have three triangles here, we have three triangles here, we have three triangles here, the, the big ones, and then we have we would have like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. But then you will have like one, two, three. So, however you see it and however you analyze it and articulate this three shape, right? It has a lot of three, 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 three. So it's really a concentration of the power three and the house number three of communication. Very nice. Okay. And if you notice, like um, the colors, the gradients that they used um, start from yellow and go out to become orange. And so this is talking about um, how the, like when you communicate, when you express energy, um, it's just, it sort of like comes from you and it goes out into the world and make positive change. So there is this feeling of, you know, um, expansion and spreading energy and something that's coming out from you into the world. Um, and so let's talk a little bit communication. Okay, it has many um, sort of like goals or uses. So this could be talking about like expressing your personal freedom, um, maybe in private. So this could be talking about you talking to yourself. You know, there's like many conversations that you ought to have with yourself. Um, but I'm not really talking like about heavy stuff. This doesn't mean whatever you're going to talk about yourself to yourself doesn't hold importance and it might be intense and everything. I'm just saying that it, you're driving, you're driving like, um, um, energy from it. You're driving passion from it. You're driving love from it. You're driving fun from it, right? It's not something that, um, like depresses you. And so this is either a communication that you have with yourself, okay? Um, maybe this is also, and this could be also like energies that are within you that need to be let out through poetry, through writing, through speaking to yourself, through singing, through whatever. Because really communication, what it is about, it is about release. Right? Communication is actually releasing because we have these like thoughts that form in our mind and we have these feelings generated within our soul. And what happens when we communicate actually? It is the like first act of manifestation because we are taking these thoughts and we are taking these feelings and we are expressing, expressing them out in the world, right, through sound, 
through our voice or through words when we're typing them on a computer or on our phone or when we're writing them on a piece of paper or when we're creating music, whatever it is, these thoughts and these feelings are becoming things like material, physical things out there in the world that can be measured and touched or heard or experienced through all of our senses. And so really it is an act of divination. It is an act of manifestation. It is one of the first acts of manifestation that sets things out there because things and feelings are communicated. So they become a communication. And after that, they will continue manifesting in your reality. And so it, it's really an act of releasing that into the world. So it has a, it has like a purpose of first talking to yourself with conversations that you ought to have with yourself because sometimes we also talk to a lot to people but we forget to talk to ourselves. So today is all about talking to yourself. Whether this is like using affirmations because we're talking joy and fun here, right? So whether this is like using affirmations to elevate your energy and energizing yourself, whether this is um, just having a normal conversation between you and yourself, me and myself and I, right? Like whether you're just looking at the mirror and having a conversation with yourself, whether you're just talking to yourself while you're doing your chores and errands, whether this is like sitting and actually meditating and speaking to your soul, um, whether this is encouraging yourself to do things, whether this is like um, a wake-up call, um, whatever it is, it's a very, it's an amazing, important communication that you will remember for days and it will be really um, like, um, it will hold weight and it will be like remembered. And so there's that purpose and there's the purpose then of release that we talked about, like releasing all these energies and that's why you will feel all this joy because that's why we like we we feel so as if like celebrated and elevated and empowered and enlightened whenever we have a conversation because it feels as if we have all these energies like kept within us that we just release out in the world and we feel proud and we feel good you know like that feeling whenever you communicate something like however you you see fit because there's nothing more frustrating than you know, feeling like there's words or there's thoughts or there's ideas that you wanted to put out there in the world and that you couldn't. It's one of the worst feelings, you know that, like, or like, let's say sometimes when like you're confronted in situations and then you come back and you start overthinking, like, I should have said that, I should have done that, I should have, you know, right? So this is why it is very important, this exercise of release. Then we get to the other purpose of communication also, which is connecting with people and bonding with people. And so this is like whether this is an important conversation that you wanted to have um, with a family member or a friend or a romantic partner um, to elevate them, to empower them, to um, infuse joy um, in, with them, to elevate them, to enlighten them, to energize them, to, you know, this could also be light, casual conversations that really bring out this inner child joy in you, sort of like the sun card. Um, so whether this is like connecting with an old friend or talking to someone you haven't talked a while from or talking to a best friend and just having a couple of laughs and just, you know, lightening up or whether this is like talking to a stranger and somehow they say something that just... Um, I don't know, makes you feel happy. Um, so yeah, this could really play out in so many ways. Um, and, and I like it a lot because no matter how it played out, whether it was like release and you feel better afterwards and alive, whether it's a conversation that you should have had with yourself and you finally had it and you're happy, whether this is a conversation with someone that really enlightened them or enlightened you um it's very 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 nice i love it now let me see which daily code you get for today and see how it fits with today's reading it's one from jb priestley and it says Okay, 
I have been delighted at the prospect of a new day. I have always, sorry. I have always been delighted at the prospect of a new day. A fresh try. One more start. With perhaps a bit of magic waiting somewhere behind the morning. I have always been delighted at the prospect of a new day. A fresh try. One more start. With perhaps a bit of magic waiting somewhere behind the morning. I have always been delighted at the prospect of a new day, a fresh try, one more start, with perhaps a bit of magic waiting somewhere behind the morning. Wow, very beautiful. What an uplifting sunshine almost, right? Um, quote, it really fits with today's energy, with the sun card, with the communication card, with the yellow color, because this is really like a beautiful, fun, life-embracing quote. This talks about how much, you know, the promise of a new day or the prospect of a new day and um, how much it brings joy to us. Because imagine if like all your life is just one day, right? There wouldn't be like as much magic in it as it has. It's always this end of the day, this end and then this beginning that can hold all the potential in the world, all the possibilities, all the infinite um, choices, all the things, you know, like one day can change all your life. It has the potential to really flip everything and it brings so much with it. And, and so all that really is like what gives you hope and faith and keeps you hopeful and happy and because you know that and this is the delight that there's always the prospect of a new day tomorrow you can always have a fresh try tomorrow you can always have one more start if it's not tomorrow it's like with this next conversation right with this next communication you can always have a fresh try you can always have one more start with perhaps a bit of magic, right? Waiting somewhere behind the morning or the new start or behind the communication. Very, very, very beautiful. I love this energy, these Sajis. I really, really love it. It's perfect to end the week and Sunday um, on this sunny, beautiful, hopeful, communicative note. All right. Stay blessed, aligned and connected. I love you so much, Sajis. Thank you for watching till the end. I appreciate it. Thank you for your likes. They show me you appreciate my content. Thank you for your comments. They help me connect with you. Whether they're appreciative comments or you sharing a personal story, I love them and I always reply to them. Thank you for um, sharing my video through your social media platforms and through word of mouth, whoever is interested in this type of content. And thank you for your subscription. If you haven't subscribed already, please do click the subscribe button. That's like one of the best ways for you to support me for now emotionally in order for me to keep this going. I love you so, so much. Have a blessed Sunday. Mm.